and welcome to another FAQ Monday. I'm your host, Fluff. Thank you so much for joining me. And today, we're going to go over some questions. I'm going to say funny things, and you're going <laughs> to you're going to chuckle to yourself while you lay in bed and wake up in the morning, or if you're on the other side of the planet as you're going to bed and are preparing to go to sleep. But either way, there's going to be chuckles. There's going to be lots of them to be had. Trust me. First question: How do you know when it's time to change an amp's tubes? It depends what kind of tubes, a preamp or power tube, but we'll talk about both for the sake of this segment. For preamp tubes, you don't have to change them as often as you do power tubes, and I'm gonna assume your amp is under regular use conditions. Preamp tubes, you just have to watch for noise. Sometimes they'll get noisy or they'll go microphonic. Um, you'll, you'll hear a double note. You know, you'll play and there will be a slight, almost like a reverby type of noise. Um, but generally these days with new production tubes being as terrible as they are, uh, it's just a noise issue for preamp tubes. I have a buddy who's had noise-free preamp tubes for 10 years and has been gigging on the same set of preamp tubes for over 10 years, and that's perfectly acceptable. Now with power tubes, generally if you're gigging a lot, you wanna change them annually, but things to look out for and listen for are noise, again, but other than the noise, um, I've noticed power tubes will kind of get mushy and kind of general sounding and will start to lack clarity and attack. And that's something that's very hard to actually listen for over time because it happens very, very slowly. But if you notice something's just not feeling right, yeah, change your power tubes. It's like a fresh pair of socks for your amp. How loud should I be recording guitar cabs? Gig volume or just whatever volume gets the right tone? Really, it's whatever volume gets the right tone. Generally speaking, with distorted high gain guitar tones, I like to get the speaker working pretty good. And if I'm tracking even with a 4x12 cab, I will have that thing up really loud. Um, probably just under band volume. Band volume is really, really loud for a recording situation, and you don't need to go that high. But I do like to have the volume up pretty good on my guitar caps. Now for clean stuff, um, not not band volume, definitely not band, band volume for clean stuff. If I'm recording like an external cab and not a combo amp, I'll have it loud, like if you're in front of it and you think, wow, that's a loud amp, eh, that's probably where I'd put my clean uh, guitar volume, but it's really whatever sounds good, man. There's no rules there. What were your first pieces of recording gear? Let's see, the first recording anything I ever bought was a very beat up and used Line 6 UX2 interface because I, up until that point, I was plugging my guitar into my Sound Blaster 32 card on my PC and it didn't, uh, it didn't work at all because that's not how it works. But the that UX2 was a huge step because then I could use Pod Farm and I started dipping into the Line 6 stuff and that was a big deal for me and um, even up until I moved into this house and in this room, my guitar setup looked like this. It was very, very simple, but it was awesome. And I was so happy to have moving needles and like an actual, what I thought was a pro thing. Little did I know the, the microphone preamps were completely shot on the UX2 and I wasn't versed enough to know that my problem was in the interface, not something else because I tried to mic stuff up and I, I would just get the worst sound ever, buzzy sound, and I thought it was something I was doing when it was actually the used UX2 that I, I got off eBay. This week, I suggest you go check out the new Sales and Song. I am a huge, huge, huge Sales and fan, and they're coming out with a new record, and the song is called Silver String, and it is just brilliant from Bo Birchall and company. You've been wonderful. I have been Flip. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.